In the last video, we were introduced to blocks. Blocks give us the ability to place information pretty much anywhere on our site. Go to Structure and Block Layout, and here are all the blocks that are available from our current theme. Header, Primary Menu, Secondary Menu, Highlighted, etc., etc. And we've actually already placed a few of these. If you remember, we placed the Welcome to Drupalville custom block in one of our first videos in Sidebar First, which on this particular theme is the left sidebar. We also added a recent events added view to our left sidebar. Well, let's take a quick peek at how to configure and give permissions to our blocks. The first thing is, how do I know what block regions do what? Well, at the very top, you see this Demonstrate Block Regions. Go ahead and click on that. And every single theme in Drupal will give you this kind of a picture of where the block regions are. And block regions are indeed dependent on the theme. In Bartik, we have a Secondary Menu, Header, Primary Menu, Highlighted, Featured Top, Breadcrumb, Sidebar First, Content Second, etc. as you can see down here. You can place any block in any region. Of course, there's some important ones like the content block that you probably should leave in the content region. And if I click exit, we'll see another one here. We should probably leave the breadcrumbs block in the breadcrumbs region. But there's some other things we can move around quite easily. Here's the search block. I can move this into my header by doing one of two things clicking and dragging it, or just simply clicking on the drop-down and putting it in the header. And it just pops right up. Similarly, I can move the Welcome to Drupalville to the top of Sidebar first. Now you remember, every time you make changes here, you have to click Save. So go ahead and save your blocks and take a peek at your home page. Here's my search bar up in the header and my Welcome to Drupalville block is now at the very top. So that's positioning blocks and ordering blocks. What about configuration and permissions? Well, that's the great thing. Blocks can be configured pretty much any way we want. Let's give that a shot. Click back on Structure and Block Layout. And let's find our Recent Events Added block. Right now it's in sidebar first and it's appearing on every page. Go ahead and click configure. Right now, our latest events added block is showing up everywhere. But let's say we want to just make it show up when we're already on an event page. Put a check mark in events and click save. And just for kicks and giggles, click save again because that's probably a good idea. Click back to site. And now you'll see the latest events added block is not there anymore. But if I go to an event, there it is, latest events added. Now, as you clicked on this page, you saw the Welcome to Drupalville block, which really, do I need that on every page? Well, no, I really don't. And once I've logged in, I really don't need to be welcomed again. So let's go ahead and fix that. Once again, I could go back to Structure and Blocks, or I can click on the little pencil here and say Configure Block. One of the great things about Drupal, whenever you hover and there's a pencil or a gear, it means you can do something right from the front end. Click Configure Block. Instead of restricting it by a content type, let's restrict it by an individual page. So you'll see here, specifying pages by using their paths. If I want something to be on the front page or hidden from the front page, I use this angle bracket front angle bracket. I'm going to copy and paste that in. And I'm going to say show just for the listed page. So right now, when I click save, our welcome block will only be on the home page. I'm going to go one step further. Click on roles and put a check mark in anonymous user and click save block. What this is going to do is it's only going to show up now when I'm not logged in. So of course I'm logged in and if I go to my home page I'm still logged in and it's not there. 
go ahead and log out, and my welcome to Drupalville block shows up again. Yay! And when I log in and click on home, of course, it's no longer there. So configuring, moving, and giving permissions to blocks is really quite simple.